Hi everyone, it's Neve here and welcome to my art journaling channel. Today we're going to be playing with the new Dina Wakely releases and working on some denim in the new blue journal. So this journal has three substrates in it. It's got some denim, um, some thicker watercolour paper like in the small journal and some different coloured hessian. So I'm working on the very first page actually, I'm making the first page of the journal. I'm going in with the spray gloss acrylics which again have just been released and spraying straight onto the denim. Now this is the other side of the denim so it's the lighter side. So I've just sprayed on with some night and now I'm putting on some magenta. And with the um, stencils I've got left over I'm just putting them into my journal later on in another page just to add to some of the detail. I like to do that so I'm not wasting anything. And you can see when you spray it on, you get a really great coverage. Um, I would suggest, which I didn't do here, make sure each layer is dry. Now obviously on um, material or fabric, it is going to take longer to dry than it would do on normal paper. Obviously it soaks into the surface, um, which means you can work over it and stencil over it really easily. Um, but just to get that really strong um, contrast in colour when you're um, stenciling over. I probably actually let it dry fully before I kept going. So this is going to be a really really simple page and all I'm doing is doing the simple stencils in the background. Again those are Dina Wakely stencils, some of her new ones from last year. And I'm going in with some gold texture paste and a hand cut stencil that I had and just spreading it out. Now because it is a hand cut stencil um, it does lift slightly, so it's not a perfect stenciling, but um, you get a pretty good go. And one thing I found, because I like to work on denim a lot, I actually do a lot of denim um, aprons and so on, is that texture paste actually sits really beautifully on top of it. And you get a really bold punch of colour. So I particularly using coloured texture paste like the gold. Um, <clears throat> so I would really suggest if you would like to have a go with denim or you're not sure what to do, try using some texture paste over it. It's a really... Um, great way to start and it does dry quite quickly so I'm just leaving that off to one side and I'm going on to these new chipboard pieces from um, the new release as well which I really love I'm a huge huge um, love of putting text onto my journal pages and the fact that I can do it with the chipboard um, with some lovely ID quotes I'm really happy about so I'm again just using the gross gloss spray acrylic paints and spraying them in the background so I get like a spray painted graffiti type effect so I'm spraying them over and what happens when you spray them over the top of each other because they do have that sort of gloss effect to them they kind of pull them and um, pull on each other and um, give you these beautiful effects it's almost like doing a very small version of um, sort of acrylic pouring um, you get some really cool effects. If you want it truly sort of layered, you want to make sure that everything is completely dry before you put on the next colour. But if you spray them sort of wet on wet, you get these really cool marbled effects as well. So once I've done that, I decided I wanted to put something behind what I'm using. Um, so I'm using some of the Dina Wakely washi tape and just some card to, to glue it down together. So I've got something in between to... to um, look at through my my cutout. You will notice when I was doing the sprays I did make sure that I had um, scrap paper all around me and uh, that's really really important. Those sprays are acrylic sprays so they are permanent when they're um, set, dry um, so it will go everywhere. You can see already around my mat they've sort of spread, spread out everywhere um, so I would highly suggest um, protecting your surface. If it does go particularly onto glass surface and stuff like that, you can use hand sanitizer to remove it. I, like my glass mat is now clean again because I can clean it off really easily. Um, but just make sure you're working. Either put some paper down or maybe work in a box or a splat box or something like that just to protect your surface. So I'm just using some glue to glue it down onto the page. It wasn't any fancy glue. If I had some gel medium left over, I would have used that. But unfortunately, I've actually used up the last last scrap of my gel medium. So you can see in the close-up how glossy those finishes are. They look beautiful in real life and just gives a really lovely front cover to my page. 
Um, thank you so much for watching. There's going to be a whole heap of new videos that are, are projects that I've done using the new releases from the Dina Wakeley um, Creativation 2020 release. So please, if you're not um, a subscriber so far and you're interested in that, please hit the like and subscribe. You can hit the button just above. Until next time, bye for now.